We may think of freedom not as the right to do what we please, but as the opportunity to do what is right. I am here to do what is right. My name is Walter E. Disney. I am part owner in Walt Disney Studios in Los Angeles, California, where I produce motion picture cartoons. I make it my business to see the best in everyone who works with me. It is what makes my company and my movies saturated with hope and happiness. It is also my business to see the real story, the good, the bad, and the ugly. It is what makes my company relatable. We tell stories, the whole story. And that is why the House Committee for Un-American Activities has summoned me here today. I have been called before this committee to testify against any people in Hollywood who I believe to be in affiliation with communist personnel or communist ideas. Communism is the enemy to happiness. All communists bring is destruction and fear. Herbert Sorrell is one of those people. I firmly believe that he instigated the disruptive strike on May 29, 1941 at Walt Disney Studios. Mr. Sorrell is a union organizer I was considering signing with. Thankfully, my boys, my artists, brought it to my attention that Mr. Sorrell was trying to take over before I had even signed. In addition to Mr. Sorrell's preemptive strike, I have seen his name on many pro-commie things his actions go to show that his true alignment is with the Communist Party. He has brought disruption and destructive ideas to the entertainment industry, thus influencing Americans on a massive scale with thoroughly un-American ideas. Let us not forget to uphold the values of this country. Let us take action by arresting Mr. Sorrell and preserving this great country and providing a bright future filled with freedom and opportunity to do what is right. Thank you. Hello, my name is Herbert Sorrell. I'm a Hollywood Union organizer, and I'm here to address the absurd accusations that Mr. Disney has made against me. I had originally intended to sign with Disney. However, my trust was quickly lost when he began accusing me of absurd things, such as being a member of the Communist Party and working with commie friends to get what I want. The fact of the matter was, I was there to help his employees in their time of need. Disney claims to see his employees as his family, or his boys, as he would like to call them. However, the moment that these boys realize that they deserve better, to save face, Mr. Disney, instead of admitting that his employees are experiencing inequalities of pay and treatment, claims them to be communists. As far as the strikes go, I saw a need and I filled it. I had heard the concerns and the fears that Disney employees were facing, and I will happily admit that I was instrumental in leading these strikes. These people deserve to be recognized, and I was there to help them do so. These employees, who were so desperate to be seen and so desperate to be recognized, resorted to peacefully striking. There are creative and exciting signs. There were bands playing in the streets and people dancing in front of Disney Studios. It was absolutely beautiful people expressing themselves and their rights and their opinions through their art. However, because this strike did not emulate the bloody violence of most other strikes, local officers refused to come and monitor, meaning that outside officers were hired and came in with unnecessarily rough tactics and unprovoked pushing and shoving of these strikers. May I ask you to consider this last thought? I suppose if Mr. Disney cares and supports about his employees as much as he claims, how could he allow them to be treated this way? How could he be treating them this way?